This pattern is easily one of my best patterns that I fished all winter, and it's a huge jig nymph, and it's a soft tackle to boot. See how you tie this one. All right, so this is a super effective, but really easy to tie Euro style soft tackle. Uh, my goal with this one was to create a, fly, a soft tackle, but I needed it to get down fast. So that's why I went with a relatively oversized bead on a jig hook, and we'll go ahead and stick some lead free wire in there. But uh, it's done really well for me. And uh, I usually fish it on a Euro rig and this kind of the anchor fly, of course. I've used it solo, I've used it with other flies, but uh, it's a good one. So we'll start off with our jig hook and the slotted bead on that. And we're gonna use some wire, you can use lead free wire, whatever you prefer. And that's just gonna prop this up a little bit. And we'll just do a few wraps right behind. And then that'll kind of jam that up there. And we're gonna use some red thread. Also as a side note, I'm using this new Sukhmayan. I don't know how you say its initials. Um, it's got good heft. So for kind of a higher end bobbin, uh, it is good. So I'll start my thread right behind the, the lead wraps. And then I like to just push the lead as far as I can and then just kind of secure it down with additional wraps right behind. And then the area behind the, uh, the lead we're just going to use is the, the body with the tinsel. As I am shredding my thread with the hook. Alright, the hot spot on this one's just going to be some Glowbrite. The very popular number seven. You'll just take a few strands of this and kind of quadruple it over. So, something like that. It's actually six strands if we're counting. And then I just like to cover this up to keep a little bit of a taper. We can trim that. And trim that. All right, now this body section, you can make a couple different things. I'm using this new Pertagon Mania uh, body strips. And so it just comes in these little strips that are perfect for just tying onto a body like this one. You could use uh, Hens Pertagon body tinsel as well, or you could use like a small size Vivas tinsel. We'll have the material list down below in the description and also the substitutes in case you want to use a variety of different things. Right now, I will warn you, the Pertagon Mania stuff is a little uh, delicate, so you don't want to wrap it too tightly. So um, just nice and easy does it. You don't want to pull on that too tight. It's not like Flash Boo or some of the other things, but it has a nice sheen and I'm um, lazy and don't want to use my bobbin cradle. And we're just going to wrap right up behind the lead and tie that off. And you can just tear that right off as long as you have it secured. So that's the body, the abdomen. And we're just going to tag this with some resin. You can use the Loon, which we have listed in the description below. This is the new Solar Res. I've been trying that one out, and it's pretty slick. And I'll use my little dentist tool to spread it around. And this just gives durability on the body, especially for a more uh, fragile material. And just kind of move that around. like that and just tag that with the light 
All right, next step, we're just gonna tie in some, the old popular eye stub in Peacock. And we'll just dubbing noodle this on. And I just like to work up to just right before the, the bead there. Okay, for the soft hackle, I'm using this Brahma Henwing. And they come as a pair, and they're great for these um, these soft tackles. It's got good kind of partridge-y modeling, um, but it comes from a Brahma, which is a chicken, posing as a partridge. So I want to choose one that has fibers that kind of go at about the body length, like that one. Okay, now I've trimmed off the fluff, and I'm going to wrap this kind of with that curve, and I also want to peel off the feathers facing away from me, the side of the, the feather there. And so we'll just tie this in right in front of that thorax, and we'll just, I like to give it a couple of locking wraps, and then I'm gonna come in front of it before I trim off the stem. So that's what we're looking at. Grab my CNF hackle pliers. If you don't have a pair of these, you need to get one. They're awesome. And we will wrap this so that the stem is going in front and the fibers go back like that. And then we're going to do one and a half wraps. And then we'll catch that on the bottom like so. And then if you play your cards right, hold your thread, you can rip that off. And then we'll just preen these back and build up a little bit hot spot here. Now if you need to, you can tie in a little bit more of the ice dub, but we've got a good spot here going. I don't need to do that. And so that's our little soft hackle. Give it a whip finish. All right, and again, you just fish this on your Euro rig. This would be your anchor fly. Um, I'll dead drift it, but I was doing really well when I would let it drift into a deeper hole and then kind of do like Lance does with the old jig streamer and that's just pop it kind of up and down as it goes across. And uh, it did really well, caught a lot of fish this last winter. So it is permanently in my box. Check us out at flyfishfood.com. Please hit subscribe, it really helps us out. You can find all the materials in the link below in the description.